Hello. Today we're going to be talking about the WiseNet Wave, the systems, and merging. The first portion of this video, we are going to talk about local merging of systems. In other parts of this video, we will talk about cloud-based merging, and we will also talk about unmerging systems. So let's first start out with talking about the local merge of two WiseNet systems. First off, you can see here, I'm logged into my WiseNet Wave desktop client, and you can see that I have two servers that are connected on my local area network. So I'm going to come in first, select one of my servers to log in. Go ahead and click that, let it log in. You can see here I'm logged into that system. You can see the server over here, my cameras, of course, in the left tree. To locally merge a system, it's very simple. I'm going to come in, select the menu structure at the top left hand corner that says main menu, and then select merge systems. You're then going to type in the IP address of the system that you're going to merge together. Type in an also password. You will have to hit the check button up top and it will say that it's about to merge. So notice here it says you're about to merge the system with the other system name. Down below it says the new system will have password and name from which of the two systems. So we're looking at the two systems that are going to be merged. It's telling us whichever system we select here, this is going to be where your admin password comes from. So if you're merging two systems that have a separate admin password, um, once you merge them, they're both going to have the same admin password as whichever system you select here. So here, I'm going to select my system. I'm then going to say merge with second server. It's going to say merge systems. This one will be merged shortly. Hit OK. And here you're going to see my second system in place. It's going to start pulling the cameras and everything here in just a minute. The next part of the video here, we will discuss how to merge your wave systems in the cloud. A few things need to be true, however, before we do this. The first is that both systems need to be connected to wave sync. To verify this, click on the system or the menu structure and then system administration, select wave sync, and here it will tell you whether or not we are synced on to wave sync. If it is not currently connected, uh, it will give you a button here that will allow you to merge the system with Wave Sync. The next thing that you need to be aware of is that both servers or systems have to be upgraded to at least version 4.0 of Wave Server. The last thing is that both of the systems need to have the same owner in Wave Sync. In just a minute, you will see where it shows who the owner is. Once those are all true, then you can go to the WaveSync webpage. That is sync.wavevms.com. Um, if you do not already have a user ID and password, we really recommend going through and creating an account. This is a very valuable service for your Wave system. We'll go ahead and log in by user ID and password. And here it's going to show me a list of all the systems I have connected to on Wave Sync. I am, of course, going to select one of mine here. It's going to take me to the Settings tab, and it's going to show me some settings for this system. It's also going to show me here who is the Wave Sync user who is considered the owner of this system. Now, all I have to do is select Merge with another system. It's going to show me a list of systems that I can currently merge to based on the criteria we talked about previously. And then as we did in the local merge, it's going to say which system is going to be kind of the primary, where my admin, user ID, and password is going to come from. Select that. 
hit OK, and then it's going to prompt me for a password. This password is going to be the password for your Wave Sync account. It will then say systems are going to start merging. You can see over here there's some status of that merge occurring. Now, if I go back to my Wave desktop, you can see here same system that we merged to to make primary, and now I have two servers underneath it indicating that the two have been merged. In the last part of the video, we're going to talk about server unmerging. So here you can see over in my left tree, I have a system that's been merged together. And you can see two separate servers underneath that. Now, to go through and unmerge the systems, I can pick any one of the servers here, right click it, go to server web page. This will take me to the web client for this specific location. It will prompt me for a username and password, so let me go ahead and log in. And it will take me to the server information. It will show me my information here, which servers are a part of the system. And now here, where it says detach server from the system, it says this action will detach the server from the system, keeping database, local users, and configuration. Video archive will stay there, but notice it says very importantly, cloud users will be deleted. Um, so this means any of your Wave Sync users that have been added to this system will be removed. So if you do unmerge a system, you will have to go back in and reassign wave sync privileges. We'll select detach from system and then ask for the password. Click detach. It says it was successfully detached. And close it. And now you can see here two separate systems. Now when I go back into it, very important to notice, look, there's an X next to my server indicating this is no longer merged with that system. Um, this will stay in place until you come in, right click it, and delete it. This way now I am only seeing the server that is associated with this system. To learn more about this and other exciting Hanwha products, subscribe to our YouTube channel or visit us at hanwasecurity.com.